place where I felt at home Take me back to a day when we weren't alone Take me back to an age when the world felt small Way back before we blew it all Take me back to a place where I felt at home Take me back to a day when Okay, so we drove up. Uh, if you go on uh, Highway uh, 70 and hit Fruta, you'll hit, uh, you look for Highway 50, and Highway 50 will take you all the way up to Gunnison, uh, Colorado. But uh, we stand at Elk Creek Campground right there in the reservoir. Uh, the Gunnison River flows into that huge uh, Mesa Reservoir, and this is us just coming up through the canyon. It looks like they're trying to widen it, either that or they're trying to put some kind of protection for these big rocks that uh, shift and fall into the road. So I'll just take that in mind. This is um, not very long. It's only about a mile, I think, long all the way through here, maybe even less. And it's about 13, 14 miles to Elk Creek Campground.
are so many places to uh, check out in this area, to camp, to hike, just to explore and look around. This is Elk Creek Campground, and it's about 14 miles from uh, Gunnison, where you can get all the groceries and all the other things that you might need. Uh, it's a nice little town uh, right there off of Highway 50. But there are so many places to explore. It's boggling to the mind. It's a place you need to go to and stay. I think you could tell by the early first part of this video that uh, things were pretty nice. Sunny blue skies, 70 degrees, 74, I th 75 I think, and this luck what happened overnight. This was uh, quite a surprise. And it got even more intense when we decided to leave and go over the mountain pass, which is more in our next vlog, but wow. This was something. Uh, so I actually uh, climbed up on the roof and uh, had to clean off the panels. And uh, that was uh, pretty exciting for us. Eighteen hundred watts of solar on the roof and even in bad weather we get some solar. Uh, what an amazing uh, system. That really helps us out. We have eight lithium battleborne batteries in the front of our rig as well. But even when there's uh, it's snowing, we still get some. If the sun's out, we still get some solar power coming in. That's amazing. So uh, we just went into town and uh, picked up some groceries from uh, supermarket. I think that's what they call it. It's actually a Kroger uh, store brand or Smith's, if you will. Really nice little store, really nice little town. We went in to uh, do as we usually do, try to go in for some breakfast or try to go in for a Mexican meal in town. Uh, we drove around, the places looked kind of shabby that uh, said uh, Mexican meals. But we did find this restaurant, which uh, was very disappointing. I'm sure there's some great restaurants and great eateries and places to eat in uh, Gunnison. We just didn't find them and we were a little disappointed in that area. But hey, can't win them all, right? Okay everyone, thanks for watching our vlog. Like, share, tell your friends. We're trying to grow a channel. And we can't do it without you. Thanks for watching. See you on the next vlog. Take me back to a place where I felt at home. Take me back to a day when we weren't. Oh wait, before you go, there's a uh, restaurant and a marina here at uh, Elk Creek Campground. Uh, the uh, restaurant wasn't open, but the marina was, and they had something pretty cool and interesting uh, sitting on the side of where the boats go out. This monstrosity is a toilet that looks like it floats out on the lake. <laughs> yeah, a porta potty on the reservoir. That's interesting. But I guess they put it, eventually they'll put it down in the water when the season really quote unquote starts. I guess when you gotta go, you pull up alongside of it and tie off and do your business and get back in your regular boat and head out. Hey, tell me what you think in the comments. And uh, this time I'm really out. See you on the next vlog.